Hello Taurus, how are you? This is your daily tarot card reading and it's actually for uh, Friday and the weekend. Um, I've got my children this weekend so I'm going to be doing Christmassy things with them. Um, even though, do I believe in Christmas? I don't really know, I'll be honest with you. Um, I, I probably identify myself more pagan. Um, but uh, you know, I do believe Jesus was a was a person that did walk the earth. I do believe he was a great healer, but probably vastly misinterpreted by uh, religion um, and society. So uh, yeah, I mean, really, the pagan festival of the winter solstice. Uh, predated that so I probably but I don't even really identify myself as a pagan anymore to be honest with you um I'm more into um eastern philosophy of non-dualism non uh, which is the Ada Vedanta Aveda, Advaita Vedanta teachings of non-dualism which is basically oneness um so yeah I mean, that's in, a, in a, a very simple nutshell, <laughs> oneness. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's uh, that's really the path I follow now. But, you know, things are fluid, aren't they? Um, so I do have the Christmas stuff around me. <laughs> I like the cuteness of it. I like the, I like the sort of escapism of it rather than anything else. So anyway, let's go into this reading for you, Taurus. That was a... A very uh, long-winded introduction to this reading, but it was just something I just started talking about. So, um, sending you lots of love and peace anyway, wherever you are. Lots of love and peace across Gaia. And um, we're just going to see what message we get here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For um, the weekend, this weekend preceding uh, the Christmas celebrations. Okay. Uh, Gilbert, what have you got? Oh, my dog's got something. Hang on a minute. What have you? What are you eating? I dread to think. What is that in your mouth? Come here. What have you got? Oh my God. No. Jesus. No. Oh. oh my God. That is ridiculous. Look at this. Look what you got, Gilbert. I dread to think that, and he's only little. Gilbert, come here, what's in your mouth? How much have you got? Oh, it's really manky. <laughs> oh God, anyway, where were we? Sorry about that. Um, a bit of a detour there. This, this reading's turning into a right old shambles, isn't it? Um, thank you for your patience. Okay, so Ten of Swords to the Two of Swords to the Five of Wands, right? Now, you may feel quite triggered in the run-up to Christmas. Um, there are some things here that you need to put to bed, that you need to be very clear on with yourself, okay? Because you are getting pulled into duality, you know, um, here. Uh, something's winding you up. But what the tarot is saying is, you know, try not to get drawn into conflict. Try to stay very calm and centred. Try not to get triggered around the weekends, okay? Stay really uh, centred in yourself. Let's see what's going on for your person. Six of Pentacles. Okay, your person... Uh, not very giving at the moment. They're not very giving, okay, with this Six of Pentacles reversed. And the reason is that they're still dealing with stuff on an emotional level. So it's not a personal thing against you. It's just that they don't have much to give right now because of certain things they're dealing with. Okay? Um, so don't expect too much. But it's not anything about you. Do you see what I'm trying to say? And I know that probably doesn't help, but it's what I get shown. Let's see what else we get here. Right, you've got two cards. You've got to surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it will all work out. So do you see what I mean? That is 
you know, you've just got to let go, basically. Surrender, let go. Um, because that is what I felt with this. It's like an ending of an old timeline. You know, it's like how maybe you used to deal with things, all the way things used to go, and you're kind of letting go of that. Um, and you've also got but my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. Love transcends space and time, and nothing is missing. Okay, let's have a look at... There is love here for Taurus, and... It's not imaginary. This is really, it is love. You're, it's just your person's dealing with a lot. Understanding, your spirit guides are saying about being understanding and also rites of passage. For some reason, there is certain uh, energy gateways that we have to go through to do with our karma, to do with repaying our karma from past lives, uh, to do with our spiritual involvement. And that's why certain things happen in a certain way. Because we're all mirrors to each other. And we're all part of each other's divine plan. So that we can transcend the denser energies and take on more light, you see. So we all fit into the jigsaw puzzle. We all fit into that together. And we reflect different lessons back to each other. So don't take it personally. Uh, this is something, it's an energy portal you've got to now go through to get to the next level. So if your person's not very giving, if things feel a bit triggering, try to pull back. Try to detach and stay conscious, okay? So that's the reading. It's ended up being quite a long, <laughs> quite a long drawn out uh, video, but there we go. Um, sending you lots of love. If you do want to book in, you know you can just contact me. Contact methods are all below. You can message me any way you need. And I'm sending you lots of love and peace across Gaia for your Friday, for your weekend.